What's up everybody, Yoshio here, I got a match for you in the tier 2 Russian main battle tank, the T-55. Now the T-55 has been used in history before, and that's the battle of the Golan Heights between the Syrians and the Israelis. The Syrians used the T-55, while the Israelis used the Centurion, which has the 105mm gun. The T-55 has the 100mm gun, which is a really good gun for, that's rapid firing and a really good with really good penetration. Now, the T-55 has four different types of ammunition in this game. The armor piercing, armor piercing discarded sable, and two different types of heat. Would it recommend those the other three types of ammunition in this match? No, because you don't need it. The other three types. Because you're going against tier 1s and tier 2s. But if you're in a tier 4 match, you probably will need it. But in this match, you won't need it. You just need our page and you're good to go. The PLM now, a surprise attack this on tank, over the refinery, but I don't have the, the, the right retrofit for the mobility the on this thing. Otherwise, but yes, I did have just put in a retrofit in like this tank. It helps the with the reload and the turn rotation. And that's the only thing you'll need in the, as far as the retrofit goes. It's like the turn rotation and reload. Right, you don't need that if you're in the main battle tank. You don't really need that because sometimes the turn rotation is low. Now the gun depression on the thing, like all the other Russian tanks, 6 degrees, which is not very good. You would think the Russians have figured it out by now, but 6 degrees is not really good. Nice work. Move to the next degrees of gun depression you'll need. While the M4083 has 10 degrees of gun depression. What does that tell you? Hold down? The M40 is gonna win. Target destroyed. Look, if it's on open ground, the TPT5 is gonna win, so there's a trade off there. But this is what I'm doing right here in this match, you're gonna see that it's very profitable. I am bum rushing these AI here. You can very easily do that in this in this map. Oh, and you're gonna get a lot of profit on this. But at tier 2, you're not guaranteed that amount as you would think. But, this, that, if you go like tier 4 or more, down. you do this, you're guaranteed it spends a thousand of credits. Enemy destroyed. That is a guarantee you're not gonna die. That is certain you won't be dying. It is highly unlikely that you'll die as long as as long as your teammates are being focused on by the AI. That's the only thing that you have to worry about is if the AI is looking, not looking at you. That's it, you're that guy. Now, this tank has good armor. If you angle it, it will work if it's a hit or miss. It just depends on what tank you're going against. It does your PG-76 like it's one shot it. Now that's, you saw that? That's the AI for you. It'll work full at one tank. And if, it, if you hit him, he'll look at you immediately. <laughs> that's what we call in the game world. Stupid AI. As you can tell, I have no consumables. Identify target. Because I blasted through this without an issue. So as you can tell, target eliminated. that shot was perfect. I have a damaged turret. Is this gonna affect me at all? No. Enemy destroyed. You're gonna see why. Look at that. The turret is still I turning really target. smoothly. Awesome. Target down. And that turret to rotation is not effective whatsoever. If you know what you're doing, the damage turret oh, will affect you. You could just power through it. Identify. Now this thing oh, is so okay. good. You can fire on it and kill the vehicle like that. Which is amazing. But a damage turret, mind you. You can do it with a damage turret. Now here's another thing that's funny. 
For every speed, he's dead. Know well, that it's it for this match. You'll see a bunch of stuff that's in the battle zone. I got like four levels in this match. Well, there's a lot of kills. You're gonna see how many kills I got. Now, the next voting thing for next week is tier one, and that is the M41 Marco Bulldog, the PT76, and the Type 62. I'm gonna say this right away. I really love the Type 62. It's a really good tank. But the other two tanks, I skipped. <laughs> not gonna lie about that. I skipped those tanks because I did not want to go through that. Going through two one was enough. <laughs> With one tank. Well, that is it for now. If you liked this video, give it a like, which is great. Comment in the video and tell me what you think of this video if you want to see more. If you want, also want to see more content, don't subscribe to it and if you're new. And also hit the notification bell that way you can get to the content first. And uh, I'm going to also add the Discord into the description below. That is it for now and I'll see you guys later.